Well, everyone, as you know, we love our Schwinn bikes. We have a single speed standard cruiser. We have three of the green cruiser fours. This is my cruiser four in red. And Jack picked up a cruiser seven a couple of years ago and he picked this up for about $50. Now the thing about these Schwinns is these are authentic Schwinns. And just to show you up close here, it will have this Schwinn label on it and there is a serial number stamped into it. So this is before they were bought out by Pacific Trail. The new bikes are made in China and they are not actual Schwinns, they're just using the Schwinn name. So they're using this sticker or something like it here on the front and there is no value to those bikes. So we bought this bike when we knew that they weren't gonna be making them anymore after he bought this bike. I had a teenage daughter and we wanted to make sure we had a good bike for her and then the boys came along so we started finding more. This Cruiser 7, when we got it, didn't have a nut on it. We found out they probably were having some trouble with it and my husband said the bearings are out of it. Doesn't really matter what they do here. The whole hub assembly is moving. So we're gonna take this apart and see if we just need um, the hub or the bearings also. And we're gonna get into a repair because it looks like this is a lot more complex than a Cruiser 4. So this is the regular Schwinn single speed that I said. This is called a heavy duty. And look at how they spell it, it's different. It's very basic, industrial strength. And this is what they use at Mackinac Island for pulling trailers and hauling luggage from the docks to the hotels. If you don't know about Mackinac Island, it's in Northern Michigan and it is no cars. So Schwinn bikes are all over that island and this is what they have. You can um, try one out there and see if you like it and try to find yourself a vintage bike like this because they are worth it. See how it's got two beams? Yeah. And they, the spokes are thicker. See how, the, how, how fast the spokes are? Okay, so he's telling me to point out to you that it's got heavier spokes than on the other. It's got a double beam and the hub is bigger. Yep. So let's go over here and go look at the difference on this. Yeah, they're, they're way thinner and more delicate. And um, on ours, and they have fender kits for these and all of our baskets are aftermarket that we picked up. We just really like having the baskets. Um, this large basket, you can fit a gallon of milk on each side, which is really great because you can go to town, which we've done before. Um, go get car parts and then put them in the trailer. Now on his, it's, it's quite small. On the Cruiser 4, it's very large, but it's just a different uh, back end because of it being speeds. Yeah. Yeah, coaster brake only, single speed. Mm -hmm. And then this is the female version or girl's bike. But we find we like them for the whole family because they're easy to get on and off. You're not having to swing over. When so you have a basket, it's way easier to get on the girl's bike. Oh, yeah. Because you don't have to swing your leg over so much. Just step into it. But they're real great. Bethany's doing a cleanup job here. And this bike, we got to pick up some SOS pads and steel wool because it's been around since 98 or 99. This needs a... This um, needs a 27. 25 years old. Or it was built in Yeah. And I think my bike we got in 99. But it got ridden to work and back. Oh, in the winter time, everything. He even had. Even in the winter. Uh, he'd even uh, bought studded winter tires for it and then never put them on because he was riding it in the winter too.
She's happy right there. They broke mom's cardinal rule of taking pictures of things before they take it apart. And today it's a guessing game of figuring everything all out. Actually had to make a trip to the uh, former Schwinn dealer to get the flange nuts that hold the hub assembly in place. 3 8 inch is very hard to find so we had to go to a bicycle shop and any new bicycle shops are not um, geared for this kind of thing and the bicycle shop that we originally got them from has their own service department so we called them and we were able to get a supply of flange nuts and peruse the store of the new hybrid bikes that are available and get back to our farm for reassembly. Okay. Is it supposed to have washers in between? Um, it's probably good. Oh, yeah. Okay. I did it. Need some oil. It's running. I think it's your shifter. Yeah. That clicking is it's just kind of over trying to run up on this next sprocket. That's what that. Oh. Well, it just needs oil now. Or oil and air. Nope. The all right, they've got this assembly all complete and figured out. They filled up the tires with air. And now we've got another Schwinn bike all put back together and going. It was basically semi going but it definitely needed greased and repacked on those bearings and we found out today that a cruiser 4 is different from a cruiser 7 with a sealed hub and linked bearings and this just had the bearing balls and then the um, heavy duty still yet another different style so everyone's out on their bikes <laughs> George is riding Trey's old bike today's on a big big 16 inch bike yeah that's big for you isn't that or is it 18 Anyways, it's big. He yeah, only rides big. a 14 inch bike. Does it feel smooth? Yep. Good. The guy is learning how to do everything. So he can ride his bike tonight and enjoy himself. And in the meantime, while we're riding bikes and enjoying ourselves, you can go over to the playlist. You can watch anything you want. You can watch farming videos, home repair videos, do-it-yourself videos, and we'll see you on the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.